Oh, this is the game. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Wreck. This is a game that has been on my wish list for a while, and it just came out, so I figured we might as well check it out. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do, though. Do you know? You do? Can you tell me what to do? Oh, he's done. He doesn't care anymore. Hmm. I've got this. Welcome to Screen Player. Start new screenplay. I've got settings, which I think are just for the game. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got my bin. Nothing in here. I don't throw things away. Alright, let's start a new screenplay then. Um, start- name your new screenplay. Um, my magnum opus. Create screenplay. Exterior, countryside, day. An old beat-up car is speeding through the countryside. It stops at- oh! Ooh! Oh, hello, little bees! Look at us go! Oh, there's a kitty cat! Oh, here we go. I was confused. All right, now we're playing the game. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's the hospital. Oh. I have a confession. I love crappy romantic comedies. Oh, yeah? So do I. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's a cliche. Oh. I can't help it. I love them. Why? Tell me why. I must know. Is it just All the stupid tropes? have that scene, you know? The girl is at her wit's end. Oh, yes, I know those scenes. Those scenes are obnoxious. <laughs> She's been crying her eyes out. Her makeup is running. She looks like a zombie. She's done. She's done. Done with the man. Which is when Ryan Gosling knocks on her door to coax her out. <laughs> I like how it specifies Ryan Gosling. Miss. Huh? Hello? Shit! <laughs> ah, shit. That sounds nothing like Ryan Gosling. No, it sounds See, like... This is the problem with my life in a nutshell. No Ryan Gosling? It's not romantic, and it's certainly not a comedy. We need Ryan Gosling All up right. in here. Where am I? What happened? Where what? Uh, where? Oh yeah, the hospital. Oh. I felt woozy, and then oof, really, really hot. And Was it a good idea to I drive fainted? here? Fainted? Fainted? <laughs> and that's putting it mildly. Oh my I'll goodness. Right, though. Um, are you sure? Uh, sure. Oh, that's the only thing I can say. Uh -huh, as if I could be sure of anything. Still, I should probably update my guardian angel. <laughs> probably. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe there's something I know for sure. If what? I have to spend one more second lying on this filthy floor... Filthy? Filthy? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to vomit. Oh! Uh, vomit again, I guess. Uh, let's be honest. I'm a little nauseous. A, a little nauseous is all. I just had a little bit of a moment. A big moment. But it's over now. Uh, sorry, I ducked out. Uh, I'm already feeling much, much better. Are we? Seems like we're can lying. Can I only tell her the truth, can I? Most people don't actually want you to be honest with them. Honest. Oh, I apologize, Dr. Giagana. I just vomited up my breakfast. I had it all over my chin. It wasn't a good look. It's hardly my fault. I haven't been handling stress very well lately. Lately? I guess it depends on what qualifies as lately. Hmm. Mr. Bean. If we could take it to mean anything from yesterday to the day I was born, then I'm not lying. Let's just say that it's even more true now. Anyway, this isn't about me. Why isn't it about you? Hmm. 
All right, I can't do anything else. Uh, I'll be out in just a second. I'll be out in just a second. Those weren't here before. Oh. Do you think they have any idea where they are? I don't think so. They're they're fishies. They're I'm probably. Sure this comes as a shock, but it is crucial that you understand the situation. I'm talking to the fish. Mom had a brain aneurysm. Oh. Do you know what that means? Oh shit! I'm mm, I'm done with the fish. Funny, I could never get myself to call her mom. Oh, so it seems like we don't have a good relationship. She's been married to me. Oh. As I understand it, it's a weakened artery wall? Correct. Fish. And that artery ruptured which caused a hemorrhage. Oh. That is a serious situation. We need to prepare for whatever happens next very quickly indeed. I've watched enough Grey's Anatomy to know that this is not good. Well then what do we do? We? Oh, that's mean. Uh, serious? Serious? I, uh... What can I do? Anything related to medical care will be my team's responsibility. But you are her trusted advocate. I I'm so sorry, you should be her what now? Oh no. Do you not remember? This is the reason we called you. We have your name and your number, which means that you signed a release. I have no idea what she's talking about. Were we forced to do that? Did she and sign us as the she's not able to express her will, it falls to you to speak on her behalf. Oh. But I presume you discussed that when you went for the process. So do you know that there are a number of options to consider? Oh. Uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't believe it. She put my name Oh, on the that's phone it. Asking me. She what? forged my signature. It's hardly a surprise. She's always done that kind of stuff. But I'm not making any important decisions. Um, surprise! A phone call from the hospital, that was a surprise. I'd never have thought anything so serious would happen to her. Anyway, when she's back on her feet, she's going to have a good laugh about this. Oh no. <laughs> the idea of me deciding on her behalf. I don't know if she will be back on her feet though. Um, laugh? Although, that's just a figure of speech, huh? I can't remember the last time I saw Marie laugh. Oh! Actually... I do. When she read my first screenplay in high school. Oh no, yeah, Maria does not sound like a good the mother! The with which she disregarded my work was always amazing to me. She almost died laughing that day. And the saddest part... What was the saddest part? She was right. It totally sucked. Well, she could have said I'm it sorry, in a nicer Miss, way. Miss Fortin. Oh, sorry, I'm... I'm... I... Uh, I went back to my maiden name. I'm sorry. Oh. That wasn't in your file. Yeah, because I didn't Listen, put it there. I, I understand was... that this is all very sudden, but we don't have a lot of time. We need to focus. I'm not good at that. We do indeed. Oh. Why do you think I'm here? Or I'm sorry. Uh, I'll be nice. She's just doing her job. I'm the one staring off into space for 45 seconds. I'm sorry. It's just the... It's okay. I understand. It's not an easy situation. Especially when I didn't want to be a part of it! Right now is the hemorrhage is spreading. There's the risk of a cerebral vasospasm. Oh, uh, well, what, what? Which could severely affect her brain. Oh. Is, is she going to die? We're doing our best to make sure that doesn't happen. But there could be long-term consequences. Oh. This sort of event severely impacts the body. And mental functions may also be impaired. Oh. I need to know if you and your mother will be able to deal with that sort of complication. Uh, impaired? Holy fucking <laughs> shit. Shit. Um, uh, long term? No, it can't be. Impacts the body. I'm not ready for this. I, what do you mean? What do you mean? To be completely frank, if we're able to pull your mother through this, there's only a small chance she'll be like she was before. Small? How small? Smaller than that. In all probability, she will never be quite the same. Oh, no. Some people would prefer not to keep living under such circumstances. Yeah, They'd rather but... rather their medical care were geared more around letting go as gracefully as possible. Oh, what no. What I need to know is... What would your mother want? I don't- we don't- I don't know how to answer that. All or nothing. Oh, it's gone! I didn't even get a Last chance! Last time she told me she wanted something, it was... 
It was to be in MoMA. To be in MoMA. Excuse me. MoMA, the museum in New York. Miss Demange, I. Wait, your mother's that Marie Demange, the artist. The artist. Ah, there it is. Works every time. Oh no. Once people figure out who Marie is, snap. Their whole demeanor changes. They feel like they know her somehow. Know her? Of course, they're completely wrong. Oh, she takes them in with her dog and pony show. But there's a world of difference between who she is in public and in private. That sure and sounds like it. If Dr. knew Marie, the real her, she would realize how ridiculous her question is. I think you're out of your mind? No! Yep. <laughs> yeah, the Marie de Mange. And I'm her assistant, I guess. Unwillingly. I handle the business, the management, the press, so that she can be fully dedicated to her art, you see? Anyway, uh, the other day, I, I got a call from Centre Pompidou. They want to do a retrospective on her life and work. Can you imagine? The, the billboards, the crowds, the press, the whole shebang. Dang. Like, Hell yeah. I hop into my car, I rush over to tell her, I run into the workshop, yelling, and you know what she said? Uh, did you hear from Mama? Ugh. Someone had told her they were considering her self-portrait eight, a canvas from her latest series. Oh. A whole exhibit in Paris, on the other hand, she didn't care. So, that's my mother. Most of the time, I don't know. I have no idea what she wants. Oh. I know what I'm asking isn't easy. I can give you a little time to think. Like that would change anything. <laughs> we don't know what she wants. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, uh, I. I suppose. Are we not gonna say anything else? I. Uh, yeah. I suppose I need to think about it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I. I gotta go. Oh goodness. <sighs> Running away. We kind of are. I know what she'd say. That I'm running away again. Again? What did she expect? That I just show up and what? Decide whether uh, oh, she lives or she dies. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know how I'm supposed to make it to the end of the day. Let alone. Stop driving so fast. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What do we do? Oh! I clicked it! <laughs> What's going on? I guess the game had to be called The Wreck for some reason! Oh my goodness! I remember. Diane and I found an injured bird in the backyard. Oh! It was tiny. Oh! I think it was around the time Marie had set up her new studio in the sunroom. Now that I think of it, that was also my first experience with death. In fact, I also had a really weird dream that night. Something about that day always seemed off. I never figured out why. Huh. And why am I thinking about this now? <laughs> yeah, my life flashing before our eyes. Oh, left click to advance, right click to rewind. Wait, I saw something. Mobile. Oh, so there's a bunch of different stuff around here. All right, let's let's look around. What have we got? There's something Marie. Uh, what else is there? Paintings.
What is that? Shadow. Then the mobile. Is there anything over here that I missed? Maybe some- oh! Suitcase! Oh. Okay, not the- oh wait! Nope, I don't see anything. Hmm. Do I- can I only click on one? I wanna click on that shadow. Shadow. I think... I saw a big shadow moving down the hallway that night. Oh. I imagined a monster bird was visiting us. For a long time, I thought it was just a strange dream. It looks like our mother. What about the mobile? Do you recognize it? This is the mobile that Marie made me before I was born. Oh. It's exquisite and delicate. I loved it. And you did too. I think I still have it in a box somewhere. Somewhere out there. I don't see any- oh, suitcase! <laughs> yeah, Diane was so proud of packing her own suitcase. Her father came to pick her up that afternoon. She spent the weekend with him and her stepsister. I was a bit jealous. Oh. But also happy to have some time with my mother. Just us. Oh, they were family? Garden door. Now I know for certain that someone was in the backyard that night. Oh. And since Diane was at her father's, it must have been Marie. What was she doing out there? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe what? Then back up a little bit? Hmm. I don't know. I still don't see anything I can touch around the bird. Hmm. Marie. Marie told us she'd take care of the bird, so we went back to playing. I never saw it again. And when I asked what happened, she said it just flew away. It probably I'm died. So relieved. Oh, I think she might have just said that to make you feel better. Maybe. I don't know. She doesn't seem the type, but back then, Marie wasn't very well known, but she was hard working. Look at all those birds. She had just started a series on birds, actually. They were all over the house. She considered them a symbol. Of what? A postmodern symbol of anti anthropic levity. <laughs> Classic Marie. I I'll pretend I know what that means. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. So maybe the shadow was her. I'm missing something. Hmm. Nest. The nest was high up in the tree, but the wind blew it down. Oh. The bird was obviously young. It, it was a big fall. It must have been badly hurt. I didn't realize it at the time. Oh yeah, that bird is dead, isn't it? Oh no, baby bird. Better for it to not suffer if it can't be saved, but I mean, I still don't even know what happened. Birds. Marie was always quite passionate about birds. I can tell. So I suggested we keep this one as a pet once it got better. I could already imagine it. A beautiful cage tucked in the corner of the studio. She got so mad. Oh. At the time, I didn't understand why she reacted like that. But now... The bird should be free. Hmm. Kill? Maybe Marie killed the bird. That's what she was doing out there in the middle of the night. Burying it in secret. That's what I was it thinking. It might sound strange. I also understand why she did it. Back to the shadow, I suppose? Oh, maybe not. Hmm. I'm searching- Oh, oh, no, wait, wait, wait! All or nothing! We saw that earlier, but I Nine didn't click on it! Is really an astonishing person, you know? She's usually hard, but also she could be vulnerable, sometimes. She couldn't stand seeing the bird injured. 
She knew it would never recover. It was too weak. I remember she said, not being able to fly, that's no life for a bird. Oh. She thought it would be better off dead. She could have just abandoned it, let things run their course. But I don't think she did. I think she killed it with her own hands. It sounds cruel, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's just Marie. That's her outlook on life. She's all or nothing. All or nothing. Yeah, that appeared for like a split second in the hospital, but I didn't click on it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh no, oh, what's going on? <laughs> what I need to know is, what would your mother want? Yeah, it was right here. All or nothing. I'm not ducking out. Not this time. Are we time traveling? Girl, isn't this what Marie wanted? I think. I mean... That's what she said, right? Not being able to fly? If she would want to be herself and if she couldn't be... I went through something similar recently. I, I think that might be her choice. I don't know what other choice we would have. Maybe there was something else in that tra time traveling zone I didn't see, but for now this is the, our only choice. I... I think... My legs are shaking. Maybe I'm having another turn. Oh no. I think I need a sugary drink. Understood. Do you need anything? Well, I need more coffee. Mood! But if I drink another one, my stomach's going to declare war on the rest of me. Also mood! I... I just can't speak on my mom's behalf. One thing's for sure, she's a radical. She's all or nothing. All the time. I understand. It's hard to contemplate the idea of living with a disability. It's not that. Not at all. If we were talking about me or, or, or someone else, I would say, it's gonna be fine. You adapt. People but that's not my the They have to. Life's too important. I would say that. She wouldn't. I'm not sure that answers your question. She certainly comes across as rather forthright. You don't say. <laughs> I've seen her on TV a couple of times. My father loves her. She's an extraordinary artist. In her interviews, she's so impressive, fierce even. It must be quite something to be the, the, the daughter of someone so talented. I've heard this one before. Oh no. That's a polite way to say. It can't be easy to have a nutcase for a mother. No, I think maybe she's just being nice. <laughs> you get used to it, it's quite the experience. Um, it's quite an experience. Yes, it's quite an experience. <laughs> Doctor, I... Do we know why? Why this happened? We were just... Having dinner last night, she was... She was fine. She, there she... could be a lot of factors. Family history, hypertension, alcohol consumption. I did have a pretty severe hangover this morning. Oh, no. I mean, that's Even just... trauma, like a historic head injury. It's hard to say right now. Ah. Uh. Oh, why is... Why ah? Uh, why ah? Uh? Right, Miss Demange, I'll give you time to think. Let's speak again in about two hours, if that works for you. That uh, sounds good. Uh, no! Fishy! See her? Yes, of course. Let me find out her room number. I mean, that's just how life is, isn't it? It can change in an instant. Is this it? I know what I have to do. What I should do. It wasn't that long ago that I could write this kind of scene without breaking a sweat. I step into but the this room. this is your life. There'll be tubes everywhere, beeping sounds. The audience will know that it's serious. Then I start bawling my eyes out. I collapse on my mom's bed, pouring out snot from my nose. Bawling my eyes out. Or maybe I'll be dignified, stony-faced, standing quietly in the corner. Close up on my face. They'll see I'm suffering deep inside. A single tear rolls down my cheek. I'm suffering. That's exactly how it will happen. Or what should happen. 
There's just one problem. One problem? I have to go in. Yeah, this is real life. You have to I go really in and face it. She probably needs me. Hmm. But I can't. Why not? I don't know why, but I can't open that door. No, it's, you have to do it. Come back. No, I'm booping the button. I'm opening the door. Come back. Oh? Oh, hello. Well, it's always stressful to share an elevator with a stranger. I love your flannel. Still, it could be worse. She's got a beautiful flannel. Hey, Jun. I could have to share it with my sister. Oh, no. All right, well, I am afraid I am out of time, but I am so excited to play more of this, and I hope you guys are too. I will upload the next video as soon as possible because I've actually played a lot more than what I have shown on the video today. Oh, I'm so excited to see more of this and learn what's going on. It's such an interesting game, and talk about an interesting mechanic too. I'm excited to play more, and I hope you guys are too. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, watch out for deer, and have a good day.